Hi everyone, I, Prateeksha Mittal, along with my team members, Hrithik Ranjan and Rishabh Chaturvedi, are going to represent our final year project under the supervision of Professor Avinash Kumar Sharma. Our project ID is 59 and our project title is Bank Robbery Detection Using Computer Vision. So the crime in the finance sector is increasing vastly day by day and bank robbery is one of those crimes. The number of bank robbery get increased every year and so the amount loses by the bank as well. During bank robbery, employees and customer, both of them were put in threat and their home, human life were at risk. During the bank robbery, guards or other employees are kept under threat and hence they cannot contact the police to take appropriate action on time. Therefore, this project is made to detect the action of bank robbery with the help of surveillance video cameras. This project detects the presence of the substances using in a robbery like a gun, a person wearing a helmet or a sky mask. It also detects the situation where people are forced to raise their hands or make them kneel down. These detection basically ensures that the situation in which these detection have been made is more similar to what exactly bank robbery is. So, we have divided our project into two halves. One is object detection and another one is a pose detection. For the object detection, we have used the YOLO V3 and for the pose detection, we have used the open pose model. So, this is our data set that we have prepared by ourselves as these type of data set are confidential by the banks, which is not available to the general public to meet their project. So, we have taken the certain type of images which are strictly prohibited in the banks from the Google and label it by using the label IMG. This way, we have prepared our own data set. Now, as we know the problem statement of our project, let's see the papers on which we have laid our project's foundation. These papers which we have mentioned here have helped us the most in building and understanding our project. First paper which we have taken is You Look Only Once Unified Real Time Object Detection by Joseph Radmon, Shantosh Diwala, Ross Gershik and Ali Farhadi. This paper is about the YOLO algorithm. The YOLO algorithm divides the image into different regions and then make predictions on those divided sections. This approach of looking at the image once for the detection makes YOLO one of the fastest object detection algorithm. And due to this reason, we have decided to use YOLO for our object detection for detecting objects like gun, mask and helmet. Next paper which we have uh, considered is open pose real time multi person 2D pose estimation using part affinity fields by Zhe Chao and Thomas Simon. This paper helps us in doing the pose estimation with the help of open pose. Open pose is a model which is trained on the COCO dataset. The model gives 18 key points which we have identified uh, which we have used to identify our required pose of hands up and kneel down we have used these poses for detecting any anomaly in the bank and by estimating these poses we can find out that if there is any situation of robbery or not Next, let's see the implementation or the coding part of our project. In the coding part of our project, we have first imported the important libraries for our project like OpenCV, NumPy and uh, apart from those email which we have used for sending email to the authority. We have used OpenCV in our project for importing the images from CCTV cameras and feeding them to our model for the detection. 
once uh, detection is done and if the model finds any robbery like situation then it will send an email to the authority with the picture of the scenario so let's see a live demo of it okay so now uh, hrithik will demonstrate the project first and uh, soon the camera will be open and he will use helmet and a normal toy gun to detect okay so as you can see that uh, he wears a helmet and uh, our system is easily detecting the helmet and uh, also there is a toy gun in his hand and it is also detecting it and you can see at the top left of the uh, of the screen it it says that goon de goons detected that's where we can say that yes there is someone who detected it and now um, there we will get the email as an alert so so yeah here here it is here's the email uh, where we just say that hey we we suspected a robbery so we can enter our user uh, like uh, whoever we want to send the mail over here so it is just of a small uh, detail of uh, the mail and it it says the image whenever the go goons is detected it's just capture that frame and send it to the user so that they can confirm so this is the uh, working of our project for right now and now let us discuss the advantages and dependencies of our project so the advantage of our the major advantage of our project is that we are, we are getting a very highly advanced security over here and it also says that um, we we just need only one human just like at least one human to who will just uh, confirm that is there is any case of uh, robbery or not so human effort is really less the response would be really fast because as you can see that as far, as soon as it detect it just sends the mail so it is also very fast response and which reduces uh, the response uh, the overall timing of the um of the system and we say that um the in usually in robberies what happens that there is a lot of chances of human life loss so it also reduces the human life risk uh the dependencies are always um they are always some dependency of our project like one of the major one is cctv camera which is which should be working condition and a constant power supply should also be required because in case of electricity cut the cameras would be off and our system would also be off so that's the case uh, we need a person who will just uh, uh, confirm so this is also a dependency that the per person who is going to confirm that there is a case of robbery so that is also a dependency uh, we need the server to process the data because as the data could be really high so that's why what we usually do is we only um, pass the data and we do not store the whole video somewhere so that would be also beneficial for us the challenges we are facing is that uh, our system would be very less effective in case of any diverse approaches because uh, we are just uh, detecting few uh, few limited things like hand sub detection or knees detection guns and helmets but we still try to cover most of the part which which could be possible in such cases and the technologies we are using is the feature extraction uh, for uh, guns and object detection um we are using the human pose detection for knees up and hands up detection and the deep learning for to implement all the object detection techniques now moving on to our conclusion that our approach of detecting a bank robbery is uh, very simple we are just simply detecting few uh, features like object object detection using object detection we are detecting that if a person is wearing helmet or not we are detecting that uh, if he have a gun or not and with human pose detection we we are detecting that if there is a case of hands up or on knees detection then we can just use our algorithm to implement the threshold value and if it crosses the threshold value the, the alert would be sent which is right now as in form of email and moreover the future scope of this project is that it can be used widely not only in bank or in any way where there there could be cases of a robbery not only in banks and it also reduces the crime rate and also it, it actually not reduce but it will um, detect the faster so there could be a lot of cases where the police will get the information really fast and they can act accordingly and if we get a more precise and faster system to implement the model it could be used on real life uh, projects really faster and with more advanced algorithms we can just uh, 
make our uh, system really fast. This is our research paper that we have prepared in which we have given the detailed overview of all the things. Like we have divided our project into two halves. One is for the object detection and another one is for the force detection. For the object detection, as we have been given the several details to the different object and how we calculated the threshold value and reached the solution. Also, we have explained in it why our project is more efficient and more scopable than the other ob uh, experiments or the models which are already prepared. We have explained our approach in this paper very well. This paper is being communicated in the two conferences as follows. One of the conference is first international conference on innovative research in engineering and technology in which it reaches to the acceptance stage and another paper another conference in which we have been communicated is the international conference on recent development in electronics and communication system okay so this is all about our project thanks everyone